Okay, let's go inside. Too loud in here. Uh, the decibels uh, in here are about 80. Right. On air, they're like 120, 150. So I run to even get higher. Right. Now, so this is at idle then, right? This thing here, it's not that it can happen until I put in power. Here at the power. <coughs> So this machine weighs 1,500 tons. And this is only a mid-sized drag, too. Oh, yeah. Well, one time it was uh, the largest that they had. And this was uh, put in the service in 61. 61. So it's an old-timer. That's a 35-yard bucket. Picks up 35 tons of steel. Not bad. And you know that that coal's then right against that slate face, so you just keep pulling it away from it, right? Yeah. There it goes. That's what you call your bottom rock. 
Now, I hear there's a lot of workings in it. You have to dissect it. So you, right, so you gotta work that bucket to... Yeah, you have to separate the coal from the rock. How do you and know what's the rock and what's the coal? Is it usually... I would say like even that brown stuff there, that's coal, but due to the fact that there was workings, right. that's sulfur. Okay. So that's what makes that brown. A lot of it. And then you have a divider in there. Right. So you're, you're going to get some rock in there. Wait, they so put all that weight on that plane bill and go down. It's almost impossible to have it 100%. Right. How slow is it when it's walking? It uh, will take six footsteps within one minute. Wow. It takes a minute for six footsteps. That's the coal pile right there, right? Yeah. And then what you have to do, you said you're going for engineering? Yeah, mining. Regular mining engineer? Yep. For just surface mine. Just surface, yeah. Like with here, as you see, I have berms. Yep. I always have to have berms. Now, see, these berms are designed for a 10-wheeler. Right. If you were over there, you'd have that firm designed for the haul or the uh, haul packs that you right. have. Right. Now the to be halfway the size of the tire. Right. And how's the controls work? The foot pedals are for your swing. This is where you swing, yeah. Right and left. And then this is your hoist. This is your drag. And there's a thousand horsepower in this and a thousand horsepower in that. So I'm working the thousand horsepower back and forth. And you have to have oh, it man. coordinated. Right. If you don't coordinate it, you could uh, do a lot of damage. Right. And I've been doing this stuff since 1977. <laughs> so, so then you know all the tricks then, right? Yeah, I've been around. <laughs>